What's up Thrashers, and welcome back once again to the Thrash Maniac 99 YouTube channel, and I am here for my final review I am doing for 2021, as we're pretty much close to the end of the year, just a few weeks left before we're already in 2022, but I thought to myself, why don't I do one last album review, and I decided to choose this one because... I've been hearing some noise about this band, particularly through my buddies over at the Thralls of Metal, and also they're a band from my home state, so I wanted to give these guys a fair shake. I am here to review the debut album, the new album that came out just a few weeks ago from Cleveland Death Metalers 200 Stab Wounds, and the album called Slave to the Scalpel. So, not much is known about 200 Stab Wounds other than the fact that they formed formed back in 2019, originally under the name 217 Stab Wounds, before changing it to just 200 Stab Wounds. And these guys play very solid meat and potatoes death metal, and they're signed to Maggot Stomp Records, and this is their debut album after putting out some demos as well as, uh, I believe, an EP. Yeah, an EP last year. They are now here with a f their first full length, finally, with Slave to the Scalpel. So we kick things off with Skin Milk. What an interesting uh, song title. Cool drum intro with this, like, surgical, like, doctor sample going on before the bass and the guitars really come through. And the riff moves along nicely on this track. It then gets thrashy for a moment and then into some cool breakdowns chugging riff to go along with the blast beats that are happening, and even a dark melodic lead to end the song to add some extra flavor to it. Then we get into Toe Rope Around the Throat, starting off with a groovy riff that's very reminiscent of something Bolt Thrower would have done, but with some harmonics going on before it transitions into another cool breakdown, the track has some hammer-on and pull-off parts going on within the riffs. Some more of those thrash moments come in on this track before it transitions into a riff and a section of the song that definitely reminded me of something from... Definitely reminded me of the song Hell Awaits by Slayer. That dun 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 Basically, it was like them paying homage to Hell Awaits. Squealy guitars before it gets back into the groove to conclude this track. Stifling stew, some thrash picking going on with the guitars before it gets into a groove that's similar to Lamb of God. I don't know why, it just kind of had that vibe to it. Then it gets into a thrash break and then it goes back to the groove. And this song kind of goes back and forth between <clears throat> the thrash parts and the groove. The bass line at the end of the track, however, really, st really stood out to me. Itty bitty pieces, some cool double bass work going on with the drums before it gets into some nice mid-tempo riffs, a quick slam before things go off the rails with the thrash riffs. Then again, it kind of goes back and forth between the thrash parts and the mid-tempo stuff. Then things turn eerie in the middle of the song as the guitar is squealing. Ow, while we're hearing some disturbing shit. Energy picks up afterwards with the speed and the riffs that reminded me a little bit of Blood Red Throne to it. Phallic Filth, some weird keyboards and synths with puking going on to begin the song to give it like a disgusting and creepy atmosphere. And as the music comes in, it comes in in a very furious fashion with the blast beats and the riffs. Turns thrashy with a chaotic solo to follow into a killer groove. And the riffs really riff out on this track. And a nice slam at the end to finish things off. And this was the longest song of the album at four minutes. And it really had a lot going on. The title track, Slave to the Scalpel, the riffs continue to riff with hints of melody at times, but not always present. Lots of thrash moments throughout this track as well, and I actually love the transitions between the grooves and the blast beats through the drum fills, which I thought stood out the most to me on this track. Drilling Your Head, more frantic to start this song off, but the riff stays in this nice little pocket 
throughout much of the song, and then you get more killer grooves going on towards the end. The penultimate track, Paths to Carnage, darkness being brought forth through clean guitars before it gets probably the fastest song of the album because holy shit, does the speed pick the fuck up with the riffs and the beats into something similar to like Slayer or Old Sepultura or Sodom and then quick little groove before the frantic blast beats and riffs come in and then back and forth between breakdowns and the very fast thrash moments to pack it all into such a short package like after that eerie dark beginning for like the first 50 seconds the rest of the song is just packed with a punch and then the final track expirated spatter dark melody with a chugging riff to start it all off the bass packing a punch on this track quick fire blast beats while it stays in a nice groove before the speed picks up just a little bit but the riffs are quite catchy and some pinch harmonics going on before it ends with another nice breakdown to get the pits going live oh wait we're not live uh, you get the idea but anyway, so, yeah, this is a short review because this is a very short album. It's only like 26, 27 minutes long, so this was an easy listen because it's just short, sweet, packs a punch, and it hits you right in the fucking face. So, overall, really the only things I really can, can that I really have a complaint about is that sometimes during the songs they can get a bit formulaic at times where it just goes back and forth between being thrashy and being groovy with the breakdowns and the transitions i feel like in between those for the most part could have been executed just a little bit better it just kind of felt like a start stop for me like you go from like say a thrash beat like the tuka taka tuka taka dun 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 but there was like no fill to kind of lead into the groove after the thrash. Like if there was more transitions like that with more of the drum fills or even like a little guitar work going on in between those parts, I think it would have lent themselves even more to the songs. But then again, I'll cut them a break since this is their first album. So they've definitely got some tools in the toolbox that they can utilize but add some more tools along the way, if you get what I mean with that. So overall, for debut album, this is a really good album. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. Like I said, there are some things that could be worked on in the future for the band, but I have all the confidence in the world that this band will improve on their next release, because, after all, young kids starting out and already really good debut just hoping that for the next one they can work on some of the mistakes like the not as many transitions between different parts as well as kind of breaking the formula a little bit eventually if they end up breaking their formula up a little bit and try and add some more nuance to their songwriting i think these guys will definitely become a big player in modern death metal for sure but overall, really good, solid, meat and potatoes death metal from some home state boys up, but up in the northern section of the state, whereas I'm in the southern section. But anyways, what did you guys think of Slave to the Scalpel by 200 Stab Wounds? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, horns high, and I will see you soon. right underneath you you're just gonna have to run around for a second while i oh okay why is there so much oh god there's a her horde of spiders <laughs> <laughs> you were slain by spiders man you're just on an island paradise while we're over here fighting for <laughs> we're, at, we're at the same coordinates <laughs> i was so at many before. sounds out just of there right? zombie by okay i'm here Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god. They, were so they were multiplying! They were multiplying! There's so many! What the fuck? There are so oh many zombies! God. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen that many zombies in a I don't want to be out here anymore! I've decided! I've decided I don't want to be here! Okay, never mind, I'm not heroic, as it turns out. <laughs>